These 15 questions and answers will teach you about diffusion and osmosis. Number one, what are the two ways that substances move across the cell membrane? Passive transports and active transports. Passive transport does not require energy. Active transport requires energy. Number two, what are the two types of passive transports? Diffusion and osmosis. Number three, what is the simplest difference between diffusion and osmosis? Osmosis describes the movement of water molecules only, while diffusion describes the movement of every other substance, which include gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. Nutrients like glucose, amino acids, vitamins, fatty acids, minerals, and water. Electrolytes such as sodium ions, potassium ions, calcium ions, and chloride ions. So once again, osmosis describes the movement of water molecules only, while diffusion describes the movement of every other substance across the cell membrane. Number four, Defined diffusion. Diffusion can be defined as a passive movement of gases and solute molecules from regions of high concentration to regions of low concentration until they are evenly distributed. Number five, define osmosis. Osmosis can be defined as a passive movement of water molecules from regions of high water concentration to regions of low water concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. Number six, what are the three types of solution? Isotonic solution, hypotonic solution, and hypertonic solution. Number seven, a solution that has more water than the cells found in it is called dash. Hypotonic solution. Number eight. A solution that has less water than the cells found in it is called dash. Hypertonic solution. Number nine, a solution that has equal volume of water with the cells found in it is called dash. Isotonic solution. Number 10, what will happen to a cell found in a hypotonic solution? more water will move into the cell because a hypotonic solution has more water than the cell. Number 11. What will happen to a cell found in a hypertonic solution? More water will move out of the cell because a hypertonic solution has less water than the cell. Number 12. What will happen to a cell found in an isotonic solution? There will be equal movement of water into the cell and out of the cell. Number 13. The bursting of a red blood cell found in a hypotonic solution is called dash. Hemolysis. 
This bursting is due to the continuous movement of water into the red blood cell. Number 14. The shrinking of a red blood cell found in a hypertonic solution is called DASH. Crenation. This shrinking is due to the continuous movement of water out of the red blood cell. Number 15. A common example of an isotonic solution in the hospitals is DASH. Zero point nine per cent saline, also known as normal saline. I made a video on parts of the cell. Check the link in the first comment of this video or the description page to watch it. Also, drop your questions and contributions in the comment section. Thank you.